Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to get started with your brand new Descript module. I'll show you where you can download the software and examples needed to get the most from your Descript module, how to access the built-in config menu, and how to control the board using the built-in web page. To get started, make sure that the USB, power, and network connections to your Descript module are connected. In this video, I'm using a DS1242, but these instructions are the same for whichever Descript module you happen to have. Now that your module is powered and connected to the network, let's download some software. Open your browser and go to our Descript download page at robot-electronics.co.uk forward slash descript.html. Here you will find download links for the most recent version of the Descript IDE for your system. You will also find a download link for the documents and examples for the most recent version of Descript. To follow the rest of this tutorial, you will only need to download the documents and examples, and then unzip them to a location on your hard drive. Once downloaded and unzipped, navigate to the directory where you unzipped the examples to. You will see several directories. The documentation directory contains the PDF documentation for each Descript module. The examples directory contains Descript code examples that you can upload to your new module. The USB driver directory contains USB drivers for using your module with Windows. And the utilities directory contains various programs used to control and interact with your Descript modules. You will also find the DevonTech module finder Java application. We can use this to discover the IP address of your module on your network. To access your module's configuration pages, launch the DevonTech Module Finder Java application. Now make a note of your module's IP address. Open your browser and type your module's IP address into the address bar, followed by forward slash underscore config dot you will see your module's configuration page appear. If the config page does not appear, make sure that the USB is properly connected to your computer, as without a USB connection, the config page will not load. The first tab of the configuration menu is the status menu. Here you can see general information about your module, such as the applied voltage and module temperature. The next tab is the network tab. Here you can change the settings for how the module connects to your network. As a default, all modules are set to connect using DHCP. In this menu you can disable DHCP and set your module to have a static IP address. On the TCP page you can set the communications method which you wish to use to control the module. By default, the module is set to accept ASCII commands. The web page security tab allows you to configure the password for access to the module's configuration page. The Relays tab contains options for how the relays on your module will behave, including pulse time or follow actions, and if the state of the relay will be restored on power-up. For more information on these options, see the documentation for your module. The Input-Output tab allows you to set names for all the various IOs on your module. It also allows a digital IO to be attached to a relay, giving them the same control features as a relay would have. The Email tab allows you to configure the options for email notifications. Eight different notifications can be configured, each with their own trigger action and destination email address. The Peer-to-Peer -peer tab contains options that make it easy for one Descript module to communicate with another. Here, for example, you could set an input on one board to toggle the state of a relay on another. The Scheduler tab allows you to set a time for an event to be triggered and what time that event should stop. You can also select which days of the week the event should be triggered. There are eight schedules that can be configured independently. The Counter Timer tab allows you to configure eight different counters or timers. These will behave as a counter when connected to a digital input, or a timer when connected to the internal 1 Hz clock. Finally, we have the Application tab. This takes you to a web page where you can control the module's relays and outputs, as well as monitor the state of any inputs and the values of any counters or timers.